Previously, in the anime, to get Yuki and to stop Aoba from revolting against the demon defense force, Tenka and Kyuka were having a bloody battle against her, and Tenka kept using her ability to make Aoba confused to make her hit her own Shuki, and taking that chance, she threw Aoba off her balance and used her black hole ability on her, but she couldn't bring herself to hurt her sister-in-law. Because she's Yuki's sister, and Aoba took that chance to attack Tenka, but their Koko and Yuno came in as they were beaten up by the 7th and 6th squadron, and suddenly Shikoku and Juryu attacked all of them out of nowhere and took Koko and Yuno as hostages, there Shikoku manipulated Aoba's pet Shuki to attack her, and Yuki and Kyuka stepped in to protect Aoba. And long ago, Kyuka lived a happy life in her hometown, she had a nice friend and everything was normal, until one day, all of those people were massacred by one single horned Shuki, so this time, she wanted to get revenge for the lives that Shuki killed and the mother she had to watch die protecting her, but the horn Shuki was getting much more stronger than before, and Juryu wanted to go back since they got Yuno and Koko, so she left with them, and Shikoku stayed behind to watch the show, Yuki was fighting that horn Shuki and was gaining the upper hand drastically, as he punched it through its hand, and the next time Yuki crushed his another hand, so the Shuki let out his full power and changed into its final form, it had become a different type of monster, and now Yuki was falling behind as it threw him off, others were incapable of fighting, so Yuki stopped the incoming attack from that Shuki with his mouth, Shikoku was very impressed by that move, and Kyuka took that chance to put up everything she had in her move to cut off that Shuki's horn, and a limb, and after a long time of struggling with her anger and training with all the rage she endured, Kyuka cuts that Shuki into bits and pieces, but seeing the complete show Shikoku left, and Kyuka finally felt the peace and gave her final goodbye to the people of her hometown, after getting revenge for them, but watching them fight, Shikoku was impressed by Kyuka, but more so from Yuki, so she'll target him next. And then, Tenka took everyone to get treatment and came back as soon as possible after ensuring they are in the right hands as Nei took over. So Kyuka asked Aoba about her next move, and she assured her she's not feeling to put up a revolt anymore, she just want to find Koko and Yuno right now, so Kyuka offered her hand of help, because she's not planning to attack In Yang Dorm, they now have valid reason to help her, as they are victims of the Mado mishap, but Aoba declines her help, she trusted the both, but not the demon defense force. She had other hidden villages she could move into, and it was her job to ensure their safety. So she wanted to go her own way, girls understood her decision. Because the Supreme Commander might be aware of In Yang Dorm, so she won't help them out, she's a little patriotic woman, so she won't hesitate to kill Aoba if she gets a chance, so hiding Aoba and her kind is the best option for now, Yuki wanted to know how long Aoba and others had to hide so Kyuka told him until she takes the seat of Supreme Commander. Kyuka promises to Aoba that she will change everything once she becomes Supreme Commander, and she will find a cure for Aoba and others. But then the cave started collapsing, and Aoba hugged Yuki to say goodbye to him. She promised to look after him, and Yuki promised to find a cure for her, and with that teary goodbye, they parted ways for the time being. So now, they returned back to the dorms and Nei hugged Yuki to finally see him safe and sound, she told them others are safe as well and are resting right now, so Tenka also goes out to get treated as well but she told Yuki to be ready because she would come to collect her reward, and finally goes off, it was a long tiring day, so Kyuka told Yuki to stay on guard until she comes back from bath, he looked distressed to Nei, so she cheered him up to lighten things up, then Nei goes off to make meals, and Kyuka comes out after a while and told Yuki to transform back, after which she told him to get fresh and come by her room for his reward, and it was finally time for him to get the ultimate rewards, and it turns out to be sleeping with her, but she threw in the kiss out of her own free will, but it was hard to sleep like this beside Kyuka, so Kyuka strangled the guy with various locks as she heard Aoba tortured him like this many times, so Kyuka wanted to fill in the role of Aoba, and after a good beating, he finally goes to sleep with Kyuka, and on the other side. Shikoku and her little gang had putted Yuno and Koko on display for one of their partners to eat, but seriously, they deserve better, and unaware of what happened to Koko and Yuno, the 6th and 7th squadron threw a little party to unwind a bit, Yuki had prepared all of the meals himself, 
and they raised a glass to honor their little pet Yuki, he thanked everyone for looking after him, and the party began. Everyone welcomed him back home. But in the morning, Tenka got back after she healed up to collect her reward, she was being generous, and Kyuka walked in on them, but she reminds Tenka about her workload, and she chose to go back for now, and seeing Yuki getting too cozy with her, Kyuka remembers he obeyed Aoba's orders and now Tenka, so she reminds him who is his master and tired him out for training. And Himari wanted to get powerful too with her learning ability, and far away, Suruga was planning to get Yuki with a full proof plan, but Nei senses another horde of Shuki and the 7th squadron rolls out to wipe them out. And that is where the season 1 of the slave anime ends for now, but stay tuned to watch more anime recaps like this one, and find the recaps of your liking and recap list on the playlist section of my channel, until then take care.